Hello, and welcome to episode 4 of Practicing Pro with Michael. This episode, I will be talking about the basics of labeling in ArcGIS Pro. I have a map with points, lines, and polygons, and I will be demonstrating labeling with each one. To turn on labels, click on your layer in the contents pane, then up top, click on the labeling tab, click on the label button to enable labeling for that layer. By default, every layer labels with font style to HOMA, regular, size 10. Also by default, the field the software labels is the first field it finds with the word name in the field title. From the labeling ribbon, you have easy access to label classes, visibility range, text symbol properties, and label placement, among other labeling properties. I would like to talk about labeling expressions. By default, your label expression is a single field. Click on the expression button to access the label class pane. Here you can see the expression is just to label the feature called school name. What we could do is to label more than one field, click plus, double quote, space, double quote, plus, and then double click on the other field you like to label, like address. Click apply, and now it's labeled the school name plus a space and the address. If you like the address on a new line, instead of the double quote, space, double quote, type in text formatting dot new line. Now the address is on the full new line. To, act, to add text before or after a label, use the plus sign, then the text inside quotes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my parcels, and I have a bookmark I'm going to go to. And as you can see, when I clicked on my parcels, my label class over here is for parcels now. And there's a field that found with a word name in it. But instead of subname, delete that. And I want to label acres. But now, instead of just an acres, which is a flat number, I'm going to go plus, double quote, space, acres. Apply. You need to turn on the labels, labeling, turn them on. Now you can see it's labeling the acres, which is a number, plus the, the word acres. Now I'm going to show you a numeric expression for it to round. Round number comma two apply and I'll be showing you a URL for a page on specific text for labels and also text formatting tags this is where you can also set a visibility range if you don't want your labels visible beyond a certain scale type it in up here like two thousand as you can see, we're at 1596 right now. If we went back to our previous view, back, now our parcel labels turn off. Adding label tags, let me show you that. So let me go back to my schools. Go back to just school name. This is the tag for underlining. Oop, I did something wrong. Let's fix that. The slash needs to be inside those brackets, not outside. Apply. And there we go. 
Once again, I'll be showing you that URL for text formatting tags at the end. Before I move on to label classes, let me show you where the halo, halo is for labeling. To find that, click on the symbol tab up here, and then right there, halo. Right now it says clear, so let's turn it on to like white, and click the apply. Now you can see there's a little halo. Well, let's make a different color so it really stands out. Blue. And apply. Now you can see the blue halo around the school name. Now I'm going to demonstrate label classes. So let's turn off those, those schools label. Click on roads. And let's go ahead and label the roads. But in my roads, I have a, a field called functional classification. That's what rates the roads as to whether they're a minor or arterial. So I want to apply different label styles to those different functional classifications. So to add a new class, what I need to do is click the down arrow right up here, up across from class, say create label class. And I'm going to call it what it is, functional class 7. These are for my minor roads. Uh, click OK. And see over here, it knows I'm now working on functional class 7. So what I need to do is go back to class and then click on over here SQL query. And I'm going to click new expression. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the field called functional class. Is equal to, and find the field 7. Apply. So now I have a functional classification of 7. And I'm going to tell, okay, for those roads, let's do it with a size 7. Now let's add another functional classification. Create new class. Functional class 4. OK. New expression. One class is equal to 4. Apply. And let's turn off the, the first class, go back to class 1, and uncheck label features in this class. Now let's go to that functional classification 4. And this one, that's okay to have this one in 10. So see we have some at size 7, we have some at size 10. Now we have one last one to do. Great label class, functional class 3, new expression, one class is equal to value 3, apply. And now we're going to choose size 14, which is for this road right over here. So now we have three different classes, and they're all labeling at three different sizes. We have a fourth class, but we have that one turned off right now. So that's my demo for Practicing Pro with Michael on labeling tips. Thanks for listening.